guide's work is never done, and after a long season, with only three days left, we figured it was guide Cole's turn to hunt. Oh, he's got Cole heading out of camp here, and uh, he's been here since early October with no chance to hunt, so we figured with a couple days left in the season, we better kick him loose. We got a pretty big, pretty old buck at home, and uh, Steve said the stand's hot. He said, send Cole down. The buck was iconic, full of history, a smart old deer that we had watched and filmed for years. We're after a deer here that we call Ducky. With just days to hunt, odds are slim, but they say luck is earned. We got a lot of history with this deer. You shot a true monarch here, man. Yeah. This is an awesome deer. Millions of deer hunters had a field each fall, and for many, for many, this is the goal, the dream. There's a reason that a big mature whitetail is the most sought after game animal in the world and the hardest to get. We live our lives hoping for an encounter with them, documenting them. We teach our children so they can share the appreciation and carry on the tradition. You put the time in, the work, the practice, and live the lifestyle just to spend time in the woods with these incredible animals. Then we're no different. We head a field with the millions of others each fall, hoping that when it's all over, we can share the story of a legend. And it's awesome to get to hunt these deer every Absolutely. year, follow these deer for years like this and pick sheds off them. And gorgeous, gorgeous deer. Stealth Cam presents Canadian Whitetail, brought to you by Ozonix, undetectable, undeniable, new archery products, hunt with confidence, monster meal, attraction, nutrition, results, Muddy, serious gear for serious hunters. Excalibur crossbow, different for a reason. Glendale 3D targets, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the world. Hunter specialties, serious hunting tools. Boyd's hardwood gun stocks, better with Boyd's. Nocturnal lighted knocks, switch on accuracy and let it glow. Heater bodysuit, number one in cold weather hunting gear. Raculator, score your trophy fast, easy and accurate. Central Boiler Outdoor Wood Furnaces and by Stealth Cam. Proven reliability, proven quality, proven performance. A guide's work is never done and our camps employ several of them hand-picked because it takes a team to accomplish our goals for our clients. It's 40 plus days in camp often without a day off of day in and day out work, scouting, setting up and any Saskatchewan guide must be an expert bridge builder. One of the guides is Mr. Cole Fendelet, who'd been in camp for nearly 50 days just doing what a guide does. And with just a couple of days left in the season, he hadn't taken even one day off to hunt for himself. So we figured it might be best if I looked after his last few days' work so he could head south to meet up with Steve and get a couple days in on stand. Oh, he's got Cole heading out of camp here. And uh, he's been here since early October with no chance to hunt, so we figured with a couple days left in the season, we better kick him loose, but with no days off this season, he didn't have a chance to get things set up, but we got a pretty big, pretty old buck at home, and uh, Steve said the stand's hot. He said, send Cole down, so uh, a couple days left, but he's going to hunt one of the coolest bucks that we watched in the last few years. We call him Dougie, and we've just got years of history with him, and Cole said he's game. He knows it's a little bit lower uh, chances of success, but He's pretty sure that running around the bush on the side-by-side -side for the last couple days isn't going to get him a big one either. So yeah, head home, give it a try, and it's about 400 kilometer drive home. But he's got the 270 out here. Give it a couple shots and uh, make sure it's lined up for him. Right-handed gun, and he's a backwards-handed hunter, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll work out. So we'll see. Get back to Steve. Steve says it's time to go. <laughs>
Well, the outfitter may be the face of most camps. It's the shoulders and backs of the guides that carry the weight. And every guide needs a few days to hunt themselves. Even a little to our surprise, he, he actually even hit the target. So Steve's gonna be extra happy. Yeah. You got a hunter coming for Dougie, and he can hit the target at 60 yards. <laughs> but if you hunt the stand that we have set up, you might even be closer than that yet. <laughs> yeah. But that's good, because uh, if Cole doesn't hit him, the, the muzzle blast will get him. Yeah. That's a pretty good group, though. Holy moly. And the deer Steve was waiting for Cole to come hunt, nicknamed Dougie, was an ancient old and very cool buck. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Boyd's Hardwood Gun Stocks, the world's largest manufacturer of aftermarket hardwood and laminate stocks. Boyd's offers stocks for over 1,200 firearm models, so you can make every gun better with Boyd's. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by Block Archery Targets, the world's number one archery target, Halo Optics, premium rangefinders, Tacticam, share your hunt, the Buck Bomb, natural and synthetic lures. Hawk, hunt from above or attack from the ground. AAE, quality and dependability in all our products. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology. And by Cyclops Lights, get out of the dark. This segment has been brought to you by The Raculator, the only electronic scoring tool in the world. Built for all antlered game, the Raculator guides you step by step to score your trophy fast, easy, and accurate. Available only at Raculator.com. After nearly 50 days in camp without a day off and just a couple days left in the season, we were sending Cole home to hunt Dougie, a buck that we've been honored to watch for the past six to seven years. A mainframe four from the start, even in 2016, as a four year old. 2018 seen as Beth Gross so far, packing on some mass, and also the first year that we filmed the buck. The following year, in 2019, Dougie looked about the same with 2020 putting on more growth, more mass, and another year documenting the gorgeous now eight plus year old buck. A beautiful deer by all rights, the king of his area, and now in 2021, Steve wanted to check in on the old boy and get set up. It's in a, a spot that we set up for the last few years. It works really good come late season when the pressure is really high up in the high ground. Uh, the deer all run down here into the bottom. Our blinds up. We're going to trim them down a little shooting lanes a little bit. We're going to get our camera up and some uh, monster meal, a tractor note, and uh, we'll come back in a couple weeks and see what happens. After setting up in one of his favorite spots when returning to check the stealth cam, old Dougie was still there, still alive, showing his age but looking as good as he ever had. And although the stand sat empty most of the fall, it was now late November, and Cole was headed south. Getting back from camp a little bit too late to head out after Dougie, with only a couple days left in the season, and not wanting to waste the evening, Steve and Cole head to a closer spot hoping the rut might bring a big buck by. Magic the rock, anything could show up at any given time, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to, uh, yeah, I mean, sit, uh, sit the evening and see what happens.
With deer moving early, the boys are hopeful, but mostly does and fawns are seen as the evening fades. When just at last light, a bigger framed deer would appear. A gorgeous 5x5 five five we know well and we're hoping that we'd survive another year. Yeah, that's a nice deer. Though not taking the buck, it's nearly as enjoyable just to watch, especially knowing that tomorrow, Cole could get in after Dougie. This segment is brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. This segment has been brought to you by Nocturnal Lighted Knox. String activated. Simple, switch on accuracy and let it glow. Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Cole was back from camp and finally into a blind with Steve to hunt Dougie with three days left in the season. Alrighty, here we are. We're after a deer here that we call Dougie. Um, he likes to frequent this area. Anything new could show up. It's the magic of the rut and um, Last time I checked the card here, there was several new bucks that were coming through here on a regular basis. Um, looking for does and uh, there's some pretty nice ones. But Dougie is the main deer that we're looking for. Um, so we're hoping to see him or you know maybe some great big stranger buck will walk in here. And, yeah. And the old 270 will bark, yeah. pull the hammer on him. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. He's got three days to make her count. So. Anyways, we'll give her nails for three days and yeah. uh, see what happens. And uh, uh, never know what's going to take three days, three years, yeah. three seconds, three minutes. You never know, right? So yeah. anyways, uh, we're going to get to hunting and uh, see how our evening unfolds. And uh, yeah, hopefully we've got some action tonight. After Cole settles into his heater bodysuit, oddly the boys would wait most of the evening before seeing their first deer. This nice young 5x5 five five with some busted tines. Though not a deer that Steve recognizes, with such potential it'll surely be one to find and watch. As the buck heads off, it's an eerily slow night, as they catch a glimpse of a doe moving through the brush. Rifle season brings a lot of pressure, and pressure changes deer habits and movement. But just as the boys thought the night might be a bust, they hear steps. Dougie is on the scene. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Deer management can be a deep topic, and I'm not talking land management. That's an entirely different subject. Rather, deer management. Managing the deer herd in the area that you hunt, and a lot of that can depend on where you hunt, the size of the area you hunt, and the access you have to that area. We all want to do our best to make the decisions that will increase our chances at a big mature buck. Unfortunately, many of us hunt small properties with little control, making management practices less effective. But there are things you can do to increase your odds. You can't control what that hunter across the fence does or shoots. You can only control what you do. And if you want to hunt big mature deer, the first step is to let those younger bucks walk. You don't really know a buck's true potential until he gets into that six year old range. If you see a nice young buck that you're worried won't survive, the only way to ensure that he won't survive is to shoot him yourself. If you give him the chance to mature, at least there's a possibility. Areas differ and that possibility changes with areas, but he'll never live if you shoot him. Call box is another well-discussed topic. 
Though contrary to popular belief, I fully believe that it's next to impossible to identify one because you're only seeing part of his genetic makeup. And that's what's on his head, not the rest, not the doe's genes, and not what his offspring might show on their antler growth. And you never know if that buck has been injured. He might have great genetics and just not showing it by the antlers that he's carrying. And if hunting smaller properties, trying to have an impact on genetics is near fruitless. The best year to take off any given property, believe it or not, are upper age class bucks. Those older bucks that you may not consider a trophy, but it's not for genetic reasons but for herd structure. An area will only hold so many mature bucks, and if you have older age class undesirable bucks, they will 100% be pushing out younger bucks. Taking that older buck out of the area will increase the retention of younger bucks calling that property home. And the more younger bucks given the chance to grow up there, increase your odds of coming across quality deer that we all look for. In almost all cases, trophy or not, focusing on taking those upper age class bucks will increase the hunting opportunities in the areas that you hunt. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Create your own muddy moment. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Glendell, the only 3D target with a replaceable four-sided core. Glendell, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. After a season away, Cole was in the blind hunting for himself, and after a very slow evening, they heard steps and spotted movement. And the big, old buck Dougie had made an appearance and Cole had decided to shoot. <laughs> we just we got, got him, Dougie. Steve. Yeah, we just got him. <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah. We got in here early. We were sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing and nothing and nothing. And I'm thinking, oh my God, are we not going to even see a deer today? Yeah. And then finally, I looked over to the south. I seen some lakes moving through the trees. It was a... Um, Five by five. Five by five, yeah. And, and, and a stranger five by five too. Into the south here, I heard a little bit of clicking in the trees and I'm thinking to myself, it sounds like a deer coming. And right when you said it, I seen them at the same time. You said, oh, here comes the deer. <laughs> and I turned everything on and all yeah. of a sudden I looked and wow, it was Dougie. Yeah. <laughs> he walks up, Cole says to me, when do you want to shoot him? I said, as soon as he stops, he stops and he goes right there. I go, yep, are you ready? Yep. <laughs> Nailed him. Got him. Yeah, nice job. I like that. Yeah, thanks, That's Steve. Good stuff. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> ah, cool. Cool. Yeah, it couldn't have happened any better. No kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <gasps> nice, sweet. I love it. Okay, we'll uh, we'll sit back a few minutes and we'll pack our stuff up and get ready to go do some tracking. Yeah. Nice. We got yeah, we left it alone for a little while. Um. Yeah. We're pretty confident that was a good hit and he didn't go very far, but uh, we packed up all our stuff and and uh, now we're going to pick up the trail and start following him, so. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Heck yeah. <sighs> Beautiful. Look how heavy he is. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. He's beautiful. <laughs> nice. Look at how long he is and the mass. Yeah, we got a lot of history with this deer. He's uh, uh, nine, ten years old, and you can see it in his face and everything. Like yeah. uh, Dean and I were discussing that uh, this could be probably one of his well, last year, years. Yeah. yeah, for for you know for any kind of horn growth to him. Yeah. In ten years, we've only filmed him three times. Yeah. So he is a smart deer. Yeah. He, he's never been uh, never been a real easy deer. You shot a true monarch here, man. Yeah. This is an awesome deer. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, Steve. Taking You're welcome. Out. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Uh, just too bad Dean's up at camp, taking yeah. care of camp. He would have loved to have been here to see this with you, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll show him the pictures. We'll show him the video footage, and uh, yeah, this this was a fantastic hunt. I was uh, very glad to be here and very happy to be able to film it and uh, 
and watch you take this spectacular old buck. Like this is just fantastic. Couldn't have worked out any better. Yep, awesome. <laughs> Congrats again, man. Thanks. After all his work at camp ensuring clients were successful, not even taking a day off, it was sure nice to see Cole have a success of his own. And what a deer. It's sure been something special to watch Dougie over the years. A gorgeous Saskatchewan whitetail thriving in a high pressure area. And it's only fitting that Stevie was there to help write the final chapter. Congratulations, Cole, on one fantastic deer. This segment is brought to you by Wild Edge, makers of the ultimate climbing system, the stepladder. Safely design your climb in any tree with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the stepladder. To book your own dream hunt in northern Saskatchewan, contact us at Canadian Whitetail Outfitters. Canadian Whitetail is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. Stay up to date with Dean and the team by following us on Instagram, liking us on Facebook, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, information, and newsletters, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com. For past episodes and never seen content, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or search for us wherever you stream.